gotta put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off the blue mean mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Hey now, pick out a pleasant outlook. Top that noble chin. Wipe off the full of that look and slap on a happy grin. And spread that sunshine all over the place. And I'll put on that happy face. Hey! The sky's gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. You gotta put on that happy face. Take off the blue beef mask with tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Hey, I'll pick out a pleasant outlook. Stick out that new chin. You gotta wipe off that full of doubt look and slap on a happy grin. <laughs> And spread that sunshine all over the place. Hey now, put on, put on that happy. Hey, put on that happy, happy, happy face. Right now. Oh, 
I, <laughs> gee, I wish I had two. I'd have cereal. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Last year's gun. Last year's handcuffs. My police award. Last year's police award. Yeah, it's within my dad. Oh, we got second place in my microscopy. My secret long ranger mask. Oh, wait a minute. No, this isn't a secret long No, this is from Watch My Line. <laughs> oh, let's see. A false mustache. What's that? A real mustache. How about that? And uh, a lot of other stuff, for instance, uh, uh, my peaceable telescope. Peep, <laughs> peep, Oh, that is Tessa's dancing shoes. It's not nice. Nice stuff here. And uh, a little baby uh, doll that I played with when I was very young. And a, uh, let's see, uh, what else we got here, uh, uh, oh, my, uh, old roller skates. Roller skates? Well, I put on my old roller skates in school days. <laughs> Forgot all about them. All barren wheels and everything. Excuse me, folks. <laughs> Get down there! Get down there! <laughs> They're alive! I tell you, alive! Let's see. Uh, put on my roller skates. Ah, yeah. <sighs> isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. How about that? <laughs> I haven't had these on since my school days. <laughs> the one I ever got out of school. The one I ever lived to get out of school. <laughs> well, I... There you are. Well, I better clean up the office here. The microphone. Lantern. Uh, I wonder what this bundle is. What a dynamite! <laughs> uh, telephone. Tracy! Yeah, yeah, to be Tracy! Yes! Yeah. Come into my office for a minute, please! All right, Chief, just as soon as I get rid of this dynamite. And you, you follow orders quickly, and you do it so neatly. No, 
Nice stuff living there. Your thumbs live in there. See? You put your thumb in there and your two fingers in there, see? And then with uh, these two fingers spread over, you can wheel this thing right down. Sorry, Lamont. <laughs> Yeah. Well, why don't we go over to my bowling mm -hmm. alley and I'll teach you the art of keeping score and how to bowl, okay? It's a nice way to go through life. <laughs> Okay, first let me explain the simple uh, rule of scoring, okay? Here's the scorecard. Now, very simple kids, you're going to be able to score your own game. Here you go. What? I don't know. It's so simple a kid can do it. So why don't you have your kids do it? Because <laughs> I can't do it. Yes. All right, now, folks. Here it is, the last frame of the game. And it's up to me. We're a tight score, me and Phil Cronomax. And uh, if I get up here and make this strike, I'll win the game and take home the pay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ladies. Got an opportunity to win the game with a strike. Now she's got her bowling ball. She's walking up to the alley. She's using the famous Pittsburgh grip. She's a little nervous. Anyone would be nervous, especially in a tie score. Yes, now here she is. She's stepping up. She's going to bowl her last opportunity. And... The Buster, you with the microphone, would you mind keeping your trap shut? I'm sorry. Dragon Lady strikes. The dragon Lady wins the game. No! Then put that! Let me out of here! Somebody get! Get me! Get me out of here! Tell you what, little orphan Annie's going to give you another treat today. Yes, sir. You know, a lot of folks have been showing their moving pictures, you know, the Hollywood stars. Well, I never made any moving pictures, but I sure made a lot of commercials. And I brought some of my gems down here to show you. You might have seen them a zillion times on the TV, but now you're going to see them. It's kind of a little orphan Annie festival. <laughs> I've got a few threaded up right here. In fact, I'll never forget the wonderful uh, commercial that won the award last year for Drop Kick Detergent. Yes, sir. In fact, I have my projector all threaded up here. I'll turn it on. Let me get it going here. There. Outside stimming. There. There. Little Orphanani here. This time I want to tell you about Drop Kick Detergent, the official detergent of the All Star Professional Football League. They wash all their punky uniforms in Drop Kick. Yes, sir. Take this jersey, for instance. And I wish somebody would. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the official jersey of the defensive tackle in the game, and his team lost 83 to nothing. I'll tell you why. Uh, for uh, we have uh, a little, I pour a little drop kick the church in. Okay, good enough. In fact, the whole box will help a little bit. Pour in the t-shirt and watch this. Turn on the engine and before you know it, drop kick the church it goes to work inside the machine. Kicking and slogging and slushing and, and beating that t-shirt and so before you know it, it'll come out Jim Dandy Peach. I'll just turn it off a second. Yes, sir. I wish folks now you'd just take a look at this. This is something else. Look at that. Pull out the t-shirt 
it's not only got the t-shirt clean, but it also changed the number. How about that? Yes, sir, you pick up drop kick detergent. Boy, I tell you, if we could put the players in here, we'd make a million bucks, wouldn't we? Good. Drop kick. Ooh. Well, yes, that was a good one, wasn't it? Say, will anybody ever forget the Cranistan toothpaste uh, commercial I made? Here's the Jim Dandy. I'll focus on you this. You know, Fran toothpaste divided a class in half. And today we have the winner of the of the contest, Little Orphan Annie. Woo! Thank you, Ed. I sure am lucky. The day I ran home to Daddy Warbucks and I said, Look, Daddy, no cavities. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cram? Oh, the cram stamp folks have been good to me. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I had no cavities because I don't have any teeth. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, the other side of the... Oh, oh, look, my teeth fell in. <laughs> you see, the other side of the team were sawheads. They beat up on me. Oh, Annie, that <laughs> wouldn't have happened. No? If you used invisible guard. Do tell. Oh, that's marvelous. I didn't know it was there. Can I try it? Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, sorry about that, Ed. Um, oh, dear. Well, no, not much. But remember, folks, be true to your teeth or they'll be false to you. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, oh, say, you want to take a trip? Here's the, here's the commercial I made for Fly by Night Airlines. Look at this. Is the camera rolling? I'm freezing to death. Would you hurry? Oh, it's on. Uh, hello there, folks. How are you? Do you yearn to get away at this time of the year? Why not take an evening flight to the vacation place of your dreams? Yes, sir. On the luxury jet of the Fly by Night Airlines. There it is. Yes, sir. Fly in comfort and confidence with our highly trained, up to date crew. There they are. Wilbur and Arvo, your captain and co pilot. Settle back in your reclining chair, and before you know it, you'll be zooming at lofty heights. Yep, three or four feet, maybe. Say, don't take second class. Go first class. Up on the roof. Get the air. Fly at fantastic speeds between the clouds and stars. Don't bother them with dinner, because you can enjoy a heart-burning, I mean a heart-warming dinner. Yes, served by one of our charming hostesses, each one a Miss America contest loser. Yes, so come on down here to this wonderful place, folks. Freeze with me. And don't forget, getting there is half the fun, so try walking. It's a beautiful day. By the way, get me train reservations. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, good. Thank you for bringing the house lights up. Just some of the many commercials. Do join me again next time for another Annie Film Commercial Festival. Goodbye, everybody. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scoop Daly of the New York Globe. And I'm out here in Midville to interview the famous cartoon character, Dondi. Oh, yes, and here he comes now. Hello there, Dundee. Oh, hello there, Scoops. How's your brains? <laughs> nice to see you. What can I do for you, kid? Dundee, I'm writing a story about cartoon characters. Yes. It's nice to see that you are a real live character with heartbeat, blood pressure, and circulation. Oh, I would say I got a circulation. About the two million a weekday circulation and about eight million on a Sunday. Everybody <laughs> likes to read to Dondi, of course. Dondi, hmm? as a real life person, hmm? what do you live on? Oh, anything I want to. I just go over the ice box and I pull out the whatever I don't want. The ice box? Sure. I just draw an ice box. Uh -huh. I got a little pencil here and I have an easel, so whenever I'm hungry, uh, for instance, I just uh, draw an ice box uh, like this. See? Oh, I see. Like it down there with the legs on it. I put another leg to here. And uh, for instance, I got to plug it in. Oh. <laughs> there you go. A little plug there. A little cord to the thing. Yeah. A little door here. Put it. Got to put it. Got to put a hinge on it. <laughs> yeah, everything hinges on that. Got a, <laughs> that a hundred and ten volt uh, uh, power I, on that? I think ice box? so. I think so. Oh. And then the handle here. See. Uh -huh. And then uh, what I do is I just immediately 
I take it a handle and I open up with the door like this, you see? And that's the uh, ice box. And I reach down here. Oh! Hey! I think it's a bacon, a lettuce, and a tomatoes. That's amazing. Like that? <laughs> oh no, Bravalon. Oh. Hey, you know yeah, what, Doctor? We have all kinds of holidays here. Oh. And uh, I love them the best because then I get a chance to draw my firecracker. Oh, see, it must be fun living in car cartoon land, Dolly. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you, Scoop. Uh, it's a nice place to read, but uh, you wouldn't want to live it here. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, watch this. Uh huh. I draw, uh, for instance, like a dash, and like a this, and like a that, and like a this, and uh, put it in like a there, and you put the T and the T. Oh, there. boy, that's uh, very a little abuse there. Isn't it dangerous, Dondi? Not if you know how much powder to draw in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and but of course, I light it, too. You can't light that. Well, yeah. Generally, I used to draw lighters and light it with that, but now I draw a match that they're more reliable, like that. And I put the match up here. Oh. oh. Boy. Remind me, I gotta draw a ceiling after the show. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for amusement, Doc? Oh, I go to the movies like anybody else. I see. You mean you draw movies? No, the movies around here couldn't draw flies. No. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Yeah, then you, you draw the tickets. Do I draw the tickets? No, I used to draw the tickets, but every time I went to the guy at the door, he used to tear them up. Instead, now, what I do is I, I simply merely draw the money. <laughs> oh. oh, I have a lot of fun drawing the money. But, Dondi, you, you can't draw your own money. Ah, you know, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, it's okay, Scoop. <laughs> I it's a, it's against the law, Dondi. <laughs> don't worry about the law. Hey, girl. You know, you can get into trouble like that. You're right. You're right, Scoop. That's the police are coming out. But don't worry, I can get out of that, too. You can. I have to move this over here. Take the dad. Go it out the way. Stand in the front of it. And the watch. by Mr. Paul Ashley, and uh, all the uh, manipulation, animation, and voices by yours truly, Chuck McCann. Also, I want to thank our associate director, Mr. Bill Barlow, and of course, Barry Glazer. Therefore, Barlow Glazer, produced by Herb Jarvis, and directed by Jack Felice. This has been Let's Have Fun.